three, two, one. Head coach Dane Dameron here. Uh, guys, we'll go ahead and open it up for questions. Uh, coach, just uh, y'all's run defense has been pretty solid all year, but uh, number one, talk about what he was able to do. Just, uh, no, we knew we, we knew going into the game we were going to have to stop him. I thought we did a pretty good job, you know, in the first half getting him bottled up. But, uh, you know, we couldn't we couldn't do anything offensively to to allow the defense to get off the field there. And you know, I thought after we blocked that field goal and didn't score, you know, I thought that was a huge turning point. And also the first half when we turned them over and and threw the pick going in, had a chance to go up seventeen to nothing or thirteen to nothing. I thought that was huge. But I think I mean, it's just a, just a good old uh, country butt whipping today. Next week, how do you get ready for that? Yeah, we watch film on Sunday and practice Sunday night, practice Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and load the bus on Thursday and drive to Charleston and play. Same recipe we've done. You know, that's the that's great thing about college football. One time a week, you get a chance to test your manhood. Sometimes you just get beaten. You go across the, you go across the line of scrimmage. I mean, you go across the field, shake their hand, and say, congratulations, you all beat us today. And they did. You know, we. We didn't prepare any different this week. We prepared last week. I thought we had a great practice, but you know, we just I just I just thought they physically beat us at, at, at some times and we had the opportunity to make some plays and didn't make the plays. Just talk about this league. I mean it's there's a small margin of prayer, right? I mean Well, I told co their coach and I were talking before the game and you know, that we're mirror images of each other. You know, we've just made plays at the end of the games to win the games and they haven't, you know. We're we're awful close to being one and nine. Okay, I think everybody needs to understand that. Now, that's a credit to our kids. We've made we've made a whole lot of plays, but there's not been one game where we just like today. We've not done that to anybody. We've just made some plays at the end of the game, and that West Virginia Wesleyan had had the opportunity to make, and but today they didn't have to make them. You know, they just they just took control of the game there in the uh, in the third quarter right there. Uh, thought we had to fake punt on them. You know, we bobbled the, got a low snap on it, or you know, we we hit that fake punt and one play later. They score, but you know we just we were just putrid on offense today. What impressed you the most about Anderson, number one? He's hard to tackle, and they, I think their coaches do a great job of, of getting him the football in a lot of creative ways. And uh, you know he, he's I think he's he's as good as there is in this league. You know I think the Brown kid Shepard's going to garner all the you know all the accolades, but I mean I, to me that's the best offensive player in the league. You know because he, he's he's dynamic. I know individual records don't after a loss like this, but players setting the record for career tackles for loss. I mean, 77, I think. Uh, I mean, that's <laughs> that, that. I mean, I'm, this loss isn't going to diminish that. I mean, gotcha. that's. I mean, that's that's a great job by him, and uh, you know, I'm kind of glad it's behind him now. And now he can, you know, try to scrape over the top and make some tackles instead of trying to shoot through the line of scrimmage and make some tackles all the time. But uh, you know, he's such a hard worker, and, and that's a credit to him, and he deserves that. Thank you, Coach.